guys, gals, and whatever else has stumbled upon this video. TTSM here, and welcome back to Minecraft Pocket Edition Survival, the new start of the series. So before we begin, I just want to say a few things quick, news for my channel. So first of all, you might have noticed when you came to this video, the name has changed, and the description, and uh, I think the icons changed too. I decided that I wanted to do something original for my channel, because if you type in Gamer Sean on the YouTube search bar, you find that a lot of people have variations of that, and I just wanted to find something original, because I didn't really, I decided Gamer Sean sounded kind of, well, it, it sounded lame in my opinion, but I wanted to do something original, and so I was looking for something to do. And turns out my Game Center uh, account, if you know what that is, probably don't unless you have an iOS device. My Game Center name is the Touchscreen Master, TTSF, TTSM, sorry. And I decide, well, why not? Why not have that for my YouTube channel? So that's what I'm doing, the Touchscreen Master. And it makes sense, too, because pretty much just use this iPod devices for my gaming. That's pretty much all I game on. So it made sense. And we're starting a new series, a new Minecraft series, uh, because th the bridge, as you know, the bridge world fell apart because I had to delete this. And the mage tower, I've lost interest, and it just didn't seem right. The environment, I didn't like. I didn't really like being in a forest. I don't like my houses in a forest. I'm a very picky player, if you haven't noticed. But this will be the last time, I promise this will be the last time that I uh, switch the series. And it should be fun because the world I've started up, I have played a little bit on it, is going pretty well. And I'm liking how this is going to turn out. So I think that's all I wanted to mention. Sorry, my screen is fading out. Yep, pretty much that's all I wanted to mention. Alright. So, we're gonna get into this. This world is... I, I just decided to give it a random name for... I don't know. Why not? It's, it's xx.leetfiles at bds. Just a bunch of... stuff crammed into one... one name, I guess. Anyway, we're gonna load this up, and here we are. So, one thing you'll notice quick is that I'm underground. This is something I've discovered, is that I really like the style of making houses underground. I don't really have a- ooh, there's a witch over there. I don't really have a problem with making houses above ground, but usually, well, sometimes they don't turn out good, and then the world just kind of falls apart for me. I am very picky like that, as I said before. But I started a different world, and it's not going to be included in the series, but I did start a new world uh, a while back. It's got an underground house design like this. Well, it's similar to this in that it's underground. And I'm really liking it. I've gotten pretty far in that world. And so I decided that I would kind of go off of that into this. And I have a... I've kind of taken the idea of it. Uh, I have spruce for the floor, which goes well with the oak for the walls. And on the other world, I have cobblestone for the roof. But I decided on this world that I would use... Stone bricks, because they look a lot better, in my opinion. So, I have some chests over here. They're organized. A few of them don't have anything in them, but... Yeah, we are going to kill that ri um, witch really quick. I haven't warmed up. My mouth is all weirded out. Ooh, come to me. Let's try to hide behind a piece of grass. I will not- ooh, we got a potion, nice. Nice, alright, so, what I have planned is, uh, it's kind of cramped in there, and we're definitely not going to have it be a one-room house. We are going to expand and add more rooms, similar to how I've done in my other world. And I like the organization style I've done with these chests, I kind of copied that from the world. I've copied a lot of this from the world. And I hear a spider. So, um, we need another set of torches, because it is still kind of dark in here. So, we are going to, the, the crafting table is going to stay in here, the chests are going to stay in here, but we're going to build a separate room for the furnaces, kind of like the, 
I don't know, it could be a kitchen, but I think it's going to be more of a blacksmith area because you can smelt, cook, and also eventually there will be an anvil in there. So that's going to take up some of our time today, but not a lot. And after that, if I have time, because I am running on fairly low battery, I will go mining because I don't have any iron and I could use some. Let's just take that out. I, I need to make some new stone tools, and that's why I could really use iron soon. Oh gosh, I keep going over there. I'm a bit confused with this house layout, but anyway. <clears throat> I need to check. So yes, we definitely don't have enough materials to create the blacksmith shop. So, what I need to do is grab food, obviously. Come on. Where are you? All right, we'll take some of this mutton. We'll take all of it, actually. So, I'm going to run over to the... If you notice up here, it's got a nice view, and that's why I picked this spot. But, because you can see there's a spruce forest over there. Uh, there's a forest and some plains over there. Extreme hills. So, there's a lot of biomes surrounding this, and it's a great view of everything. So, I'm going to go over here where we can get some spruce planks. My supply of that. It's a nice-looking horse. And we're going to have to get some more oak wood, too, but that's easy to come by. Oh, already my battery's complaining about low energy. So because we're running on 20% or less currently, I don't think we'll get to mining today after all. But we can definitely uh, build that, the gist of that blacksmith shop room. Shop room, whatever you want to call it. Blacksmith shop room, wow. I don't know, but we're going to get... We're going to get that built, and I think that's all we're going to have time for today, because I would plug in my device so that I could do more stuff. The thing is, it's a weird thing that happens. I I always wondered, like, if you watched one of my old videos of that, I think it was the bridge, the bridge world, yeah. Uh, you may have noticed in one of the videos that my controls were weirding out a bit, and my head would randomly flip up like that. And what I realized was that whenever I play games, it doesn't have to be a game with internet, it just has to be a game. If my iPod is on low battery and I have it plugged in, because it's charging and running a game at the same time, it somehow messes with it and makes the screen really hot because it's working hard. And that screws up the screen sensitivity, which means it'll make... Random things happen in your game, like your view will suddenly flip up, and that's bad enough in Minecraft, but it's even worse in a game where you're fighting to survive every second of the game. So, I can't play with a charger, which is a bit of a bummer, but at the same time, it does give me a time limit, which is nice, so that I don't sit down all day becoming a couch potato. Anyway, I think we have enough spruce wood. Ooh, let's kill this cow. We need all the meats we can get. Yeah, come here. There we go. Oh, he, he didn't drop anything. Well, okay then. I think, I think we can, yep. Critical one hit a sheep. So now, we need some oak. And that tree looks perfect. Okay, I already broke that one axe. We're just going to cut this thing down. And then we should have enough wood. So I will meet you guys back when I am finished cutting the tree. Alright guys, so we are back home and just in time too because the sun is setting and night is falling. Which is great because now we can just focus on making this blacksmith area. So... We're going to make this a little bit deeper, I think, than this part, because deeper is better and safer. So I'm just going to really quickly dig out a small area, and then I'll meet you back, because I don't want to have to bore you with me digging constantly. Okay, guys, so I've dug out the base area. What I'm planning is that we're going to have furnaces on, uh, let's see, we're going to have four furnaces here, and four furnaces here, and then some spruce, I think, sp yeah, spruce wood. Spruce wood would look good. So we're going to have spruce logs here as well. And then I think in this corner we shall have a anvil. 
or no, I think the anvil will be fine in the corners. So I'm gonna figure that out uh, a little bit later because there's a wall here still. But for now, I'm gonna dig out the area of where the floor will be, and we're gonna put that in. So it's not a huge room, but that's fine. I I, I should probably go up into the chest and grab the wood that's up there too so I can use that up. In fact, I think I will do that really quick. Okay, grab all of this. So, uh, do we have any stairs? We do. So, uh, I think later I will switch these out for stone brick stairs, but we're gonna do with cobblestone stairs for now. There's nothing wrong with that. Hmm. So, actually, I think I'm gonna make the room a bit wider. Oh, wait, no. Actually, we don't need to do that. What we need to do... So, okay, that's fine. <clears throat> Alright, so we're just gonna put the walls here uh, when this comes down. Gonna connect the walls right here. So it'll be like that, except with the rest fill it in. And then we just want to dig a little further forward. And then we can put the furnaces here and here where this torch is. There we go. And the the anvil will go somewhere. I'll, I'll just worry about that later. So I'm going to dig out the walls and then start putting wood in. And I shall get back when... The walls and the floor is finished. Alright guys, so we finished with the walls for the most part. What we're going to do now is I'm cooking up some smooth stone so that I can make some stone bricks and put them on the ceiling. And we're just going to go around and add the corner decorations to make it look a little nicer. I'm, I'm just going to worry about the anvil later. I'm not quite sure where it's going to go, but we can just figure that out later gonna put some decorations on here to give the house a little look into it and transition from each room to the next oh nope that's not right there we go um all right so we don't have to worry about anymore because the rest is just gonna be covered up with stone brick so we need some here as well all right and just going to finish the floor off here. Okay, so now I'm going to do one other thing really quick. Do I have any sticks? I can make some. I am going to make uh, another set of signs really quick. And I'm going to show you something that I've been doing on my other world. What I do when I'm planning to build into another area, but I'm not quite there yet. And I'm just going to do that later is I dig out the section where I'm going to dig later on then I put uh, a few different kinds of blocks in the area and I guess I'll put that there too so it kinda looks like that like a weird little mess of area then I put a sign on one of the wooden blocks and say under construction here we go and then so it's just kind of to make it look nice and let anyone else who's here know that this is still being worked on and eventually we'll have something there. That doesn't look pretty, so I'm going to fix those really quick. Make them look nice. Alright, that looks good. So now we just need to wait on this. Oh, I didn't feed it enough. Derp. I did not feed it enough coal. I only gave it one. That's a major derp on me. So, we actually do have some other rocks. Uh, at least I think we... Stone bricks. Maybe we can't uh, make stone bricks with... I don't know, maybe we can make it with granite. I'm not sure. If we can make stone bricks with other types of rock. Maybe. Uh, Alright, so. 
yeah, we're just gonna wait on the furnace. And I did plug it in the, my device because it was going to get close to dying anyway. So, so to keep it from dying, I plugged it in. Hopefully nothing weird happens, like my screen flipping up. I'm going to add that, and that should be good. Yeah, that should be fine. We actually can take this away. Where's my axe? There we are. And... Hmm... You know, actually, no, I'm going to put that back. Okay, we'll take this, make a few more bricks. Where are they? Oh, and there's actually one in here that I can use, too, just for an extra. Another set of bricks. Alright, let's go place these. Here we go. Ceiling starting to take shape. And then we just need one more here, if I'm correct. One there. Yeah, that's it. So all we need for now is one stone brick there. And uh, I'm just going to smelt the rest of these so that I can use them later on. But I'm going to go ahead and put the furnaces in here. And I'll craft a few more. Let's see. So... Four, five. So I need five more furnaces. Five times eight, that's 40, if I believe. 40. Alright, that should be good. Should be plenty for five. Yep. Perfect. None left. Great. So we shall put these in there. And I will put this furnace in there when it is done smelting. But for now, I'm just going to let it continue cooking and we did actually if you notice find a little iron ore in there so we can go ahead and cook this up so we can use it that's always nice but yeah because I'm running on low battery and I don't want my uh, game to bug out a bunch I think that's gonna be it for today's episode I'm not sure how long it was hopefully it was long enough it probably wasn't but sorry about that the next one will definitely be longer Anyway guys, thanks for watching, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye guys!